This is the Music History Today podcast for June 21st. On today's show, it's the debut of World Music Day and also Bonnaroo, a blues legend passes away, and the LP debuts. First up, though, on this day, speaking of the LP, in 1948, the long-playing, or LP, record was first announced by Columbia Records. In 1965, the first psychedelic concert poster was used to promote a concert by the group The Charlatans in Virginia City, Nevada. In 1966, the Beatles recorded the song She Said, She Said. In 1967, a free concert starring The Grateful Dead, Quicksilver Messenger Service, and Big Brother and the Holding Company was held in San Francisco, California. In 1970, Jim Morrison of The Doors married wife Patricia Keneally. The marriage was not really legal, though, as it was a Celtic pagan hand-fasting ceremony, as they say. In 1971, Chuck Berry and Stephen Stills performed at the Celebration of Life concert in Louisiana. In 1973, the group Bread played together for the final time. In 1975, Richie Blackmore left Deep Purple to form the group Rainbow. Also in 1975, the Beach Boys, the Eagles, and Elton John performed at Wembley Stadium in London, England. In 1976, Reba McIntyre married rodeo champion Charlie Battles. In 1979, Peter Gabriel headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 1981, the group Steely Dan broke up. They would later reunite, of course. In 1982, the first World Music Day took place. In 1985, Joe Cocker headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 1986, Bob Geldof married broadcaster Paula Yates. They divorced less than a decade later after Bob discovered Paula's affair with Michael Hutchins of In Excess. In 1988, the Rascals performed together on tour for the first time in 20 years. In 1992, guitarist Michael Lamper married actress Marina Sirtis of Star Trek The Next Generation. In 2002, the first Bonnaroo Music Festival took place. In 2007, the Spice Girls announced their very, very brief reunion. In 2015, Taylor Swift threatened to not put her album 1989 onto Apple Music streaming services, which was going to start streaming within days if artists didn't get proper royalties from the company. In 2017, Ed Sheeran headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival, and in 2020, Kurt Cobain's guitar that he used during Nirvana's performance on MTV Unplugged sold at auction for $6 million. In classical music in 1868, Wagner premiered the opera Meistersinger von Nuremberg. In 1969, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his 14th symphony. In theater in 1951, the Broadway show 17 opened. In 1978, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice's musical Evita premiered in London, England. And in 1997, the Broadway show Defending the Caveman closed. In award ceremonies that were held on June 21st in 1990, Little Richard received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on June 21st include in 1965 when the Birds released their classic Mr. Tambourine Man. In 1968, John Mayall released Bare Wires. In 1969, Deep Purple released their self-titled album. In 1971, Buck Owens released Ruby. In 1979, Mick Taylor released his self-titled album. In 1982, ABC released The Lexicon of Love and Crosby, Stills & Nash released Daylight Again. In 1985, Marilyn released Despite Straight Lines and Motley Crue released Theater of Pain. In 1987, Judas Priest released Priest Live and White Lion released Pride. In 1988, Big Daddy Kane released Long Live the Kane. In 1990, Anita Baker released Compositions, Poison released Flesh and Blood, and Uncle Tupelo released No Depression. In 1993, the Manic Street Preachers released Gold Against the Soul. In 1994, Bone Thugs and Harmony released Creepin' on a Come Up, John Mellencamp released Dance Naked, and James Taylor released Best Live. 
in 1999, Synergy released Beware the Heavens. In 2005, John Hyatt released Master of Disaster and New Order released Best Remixes. In 2010, The Jackson 5 released Live at the Forum. And in 2011, The Chain Gang of 1974 released Wayward Fire and Crossfade released We All Bleed. Singles that were released on June 21st include in 1955 when Johnny Cash did a twofer, he released Cry 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 and Hey Porter. In 1965, Aretha Franklin did a twofer. She released No No I'm Losing You and Sweet Bitter Love. In 1976, the Bee Gees released You Should Be Dancing off of the Saturday Night Live soundtrack. And Elton John and Kiki D released their duet Don't Go Breaking My Heart. In 1991, Guns N' Roses released You Could Be Mine from the Terminator 2 soundtrack. And in 2010, Pearl Jam released Amongst the Waves. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 21st include composer Elois Haba, composer Gunnar Eck, composer Harold Spina, composer Johann Christoph Friedrich Bach, composer Lalo Schifrin, who wrote the theme from Mission Impossible, Conductor Hermann Scherken, country music singer Kathy Matea, DJ Ghost, DJ Sonique, drummer Joey Kramer of Aerosmith, drummer John Heisman of Coliseum, guitarist Chris Britton of the Trogs, guitarist Joey Molland of Badfinger, guitarist Nils Lofgren of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Justin Carey of Sixpence None the Richer, keyboardist Don Airy, Mark Brzezicki of Big Country, multi-instrumentalist Mike Enzinger of Incubus, rapper and DJ Pete Rock, rapper Julio Fulio, rapper Khalil Vegas, rapper Rico Reckless, saxophonist Winfried Parker, singer and keyboardist Brandon Flowers of the group The Killers, singer Abdel Halim Hafez, Singer Allison Morer, singer Brenda Holloway, singer John Paul Young, singer and bassist Kip Winger of the group Winger, singer Chris Allen of American Idol fame, singer Kylie Renee, singer extraordinaire Miss Lana Del Rey, singer Marcella Detroit of Shakespeare's Sister, singer Max Schneider, singer Nick Noble, singer O.C. Smith, singer Ray Davies of the Kinks. Singer Rebecca Black, singer Salome, singer Tristan Blaine, singer Victor Tsai of Kino, and songwriter Marcy Levy. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 21st include composer Christoph Herant, who passed away in 1621 at the age of 57. Composer Adolf Schimann passed away in 1887 at the age of 67. Composer Polibo Fumagalli passed away in 1900 at the age of 69. Composer Glaco Velasquez passed away in 1914 at the age of 30. Composer Heinrich Kaminsky passed away in 1946 at the age of 59. Composer Seth Bingham passed away in 1972 at the age of 90. Composer Heinz Lau passed away in 1975 at the age of 49. Musician and composer Angus MacLeese of the group The Velvet Underground passed away in 1979 at the age of 41. Orchestra leader Bert Keimfert passed away from a stroke in 1980 at the age of 56. Composer Gunnar Eck passed away in 1981 on his 81st birthday. Composer Asi Rambani passed away in 1986 at the age of 63. 
Composer Abram Chasens passed away in 1987 at the age of 83. Jazz singer June Christie passed away in 1990 at the age of 64. Gospel singer Thomas Whitfield passed away from a heart attack in 1992 at the age of 38. Singer Ticho Parley passed away in 1993 at the age of 64. Jazz singer Arthur Prysuk passed away in 1997 at the age of either 68 or 73. The date of birth is in flux. Singer Shintaro Katsu passed away in 1997 at the age of 65. Drummer Kami passed away in 1999 at the age of 26. Composer Alan Hovhannis passed away in 2000 at the age of 89. Blues great extraordinaire Mr. John Lee Hooker passed away in 2001 at the age of 83. Singer Matt Dennis passed away in 2002 at the age of 88. Singer Tam White passed away in 2010 at the age of 67. Composer Richard Adler passed away in 2012 at the age of 90. Country music singer Jimmy C. Newman passed away in 2014 at the age of 86. Jazz composer Gunther Schuller passed away in 2015 at the age of 89. Wayne Lamar Jackson of the Marquis and also the Memphis Horns passed away in 2016 at the age of 74. Artist manager and record label executive Elliot Roberts passed away in 2019 at the age of 76. Bassist Pat Lupo of John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band passed away in 2021 at the age of 66. And Broadway composer and playwright James Rado passed away in 2022 at the age of 90. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 22nd, when in 1953, singer Cindy Lauper was born. <laughs> 